So scope of the next part is to go a little bit ahead and to go for kinetics of phase transformations. Which is shown here by the diffusion of ink in water. There is a software tool called Dictra, which allows to describe diffusion controlled transformations. So in the same spirit as we learn from the thermodynamic databases, there are so-called mobility databases for the mobility of the individual elements in the different crystal lattices. And together with thermodynamic data like the thermodynamic factor, actually the diffusion coefficients can be calculated from such databases depending on temperature and anything else. And the interesting story is that based on these databases you can calculate the entire diffusion matrix. Here is an example for such kind of Dictra simulation and what you see here is a diffusion couple of two different super alloys mentioned up here which have been brought into contact at this line at time zero and then they have been kept at 1293 centigrade for 100 hours. What happened is that then the individual alloy elements started to diffuse into the uh, opposite regions of the other couple and you get the establishment of uh, diffusion profiles. All these tiny squares and triangles and circles and so on are experimental values and the lines uh, correspond to the simulations performed by Dictra. So what is obvious is that uh, you can quite well describe diffusion phenomena also in very complex alloy systems like uh, super alloys, for example. There are many other application examples of Dictra which will not be detailed here, but there are mean field uh, approximations which also allow to describe precipitation or dissolution of carbides and many other areas of interest. This brings us to an intermediate summary number two. Uh, so besides thermodynamic data we had before, we now have also a tool to describe kinetics as least as it concerns diffusion. Kinetics must be separated into two areas. One is the kinetics of the growth of a particle or a, a precipitate and the other is the kinetics of the nucleation of these kind of precipitates. Uh, Dictra has also one other constraint that it only can operate as a one-dimensional diffusion solver so it is not possible to describe microstructures with Dictra. And because we do not have the microstructure, again, we do not have any information about materials properties.